Ever wondered how we make our GPUs look so cool? I'm Nick. I'm the PC builder here at Thermaltake Australia, and this is how to install a GPU water block. What you want to do before starting anything is remove the cables that lead to the fans and the LEDs on the fan shroud. Once they are unplugged, you can begin to remove the screws which hold cooler onto the card. I'd recommend taking off all the ones on the back of the card first, then removing the two on the I.O. bracket. And then the stock cooler just comes right off. Next, there is even more screws for you to remove. These screws hold the back plate and the giant retention bracket on the card. There is a lot of screws. Remove the bracket, back plate, and don't forget to disconnect the back plate cable. Once you remove these, you are left with your bare graphics card. Now, you're going to want to get your water block ready to go. Using something like isopropyl alcohol, remove the old thermal paste from the GPU. Now, grab the thermal pads from your water block box. Consult with the water block's instruction manual to figure out where they need to go, and then measure how much you need to cut. Cut them to size and stick them onto their respective components. Don't forget to remove the plastic film. It's now time for you to apply new thermal paste. I'm using this pattern in particular because unlike with the CPU, the GPU has no heat spreader, so you need to cover the whole die. After you take out your water block, insert washers onto the block so that the metal standoffs don't touch certain parts of the card. If you skip this step, there is a risk of shorting out your card. Now, you'll want to screw your graphics card onto your water block. I find it's easier to put the card itself onto the block rather than the block onto the card. Now, it's time to put more washers onto the back of the card. There are also four main screws you need to put in around the actual GPU itself. Now, you just simply screw the back plate on. You don't necessarily need a back plate, however, it does add to the aesthetics of the water block and does have some minor passive cooling benefits too. And now your GPU water block is installed and ready to go into your PC. Thanks for watching.